follow and welcome to the Ewok channel. Here you will find everything you need to learn English. In a fun way. My name is Note from Fun and Dynamic English and today we've got a very special class. Hey Kunchi, do you want to watch a horror movie? Mm, no thanks, I am scared of horror movies. I know, but this is not a terrifying movie, it's just about witches. Oh, no way, I am scared of witches. Okay, but they're good witches with black cats. Are you kidding me? No way, Jose, I am scared of black cats. <laughs> Conchi, I'm starting to get a bit bored about your use of I'm scared of. Why don't we try to spice it up a little bit and we can use other ways. It's not wrong, but we have other ways to say I'm scared of. Okay, okay, naughty. Shall we try? Explain it to me. I'm scared is not incorrect, but it's a basic expression. That means that you're afraid of something. Ah! However, it can also mean you're anxious and worried about some future events. If you use it alone, it's difficult to know exactly what you're feeling and why. What are you feeling? So what are some other expressions you can use instead of I'm scared of? These advanced expressions tell us more about why someone is scared and how scared they are. Hey. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared! <laughs> Number one, I'm scared to death. By adding to death at the end of I'm scared, it means you're extremely anxious and fearful that something horrible may happen. For example, Oh yeah, I am scared to death of getting lost. If you add over to the end, it means there is something that you have a fear of, like you have a phobia of something, such as spiders or the darkness. For example, Conchi, what's your biggest fear? I'm scared to death of clowns. Oh, but clowns are nice. That's my biggest fear. You can also say, I'm really nervous about... Mm -mm -mm. I'm really nervous about my driving license exam. Or I'm terrified of. I'm terrified of failing my English exam. Or I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of the darkness. Next, I'm shaking like a leaf. This means that something scared you and you're shaking as a result of it. It physically affects you and your body. You can use this term after you have encountered anything frightening, such as having a nightmare or seeing a scary movie or seeing a monster or a ghost. For example, every time I watch a horror movie, I end up shaking like a leaf. I'm breaking it. This is a brick. And if you brick, it means that you are shitting a brick. It means that you're so scared that you might lose control of your bowels. To be scared, to be terrified, but to that point, I know it's gross. For example, the first time I performed in public, I was breaking it. Or the first time that I made a YouTube video for you, I was breaking it. I was extremely nervous and afraid of making it. Another expression is, I am shit scared off. This has a pretty similar meaning. You can be shit scared or you can be shit scared of something or doing something. I'm shit scared of spiders. Another expression. If you're petrified, you are extremely frightened. You're so scared that you can't even think or move. You are petrified. I've always been petrified of being alone. When I'm alone in the darkness, I'm petrified. Most people seem to be petrified of snakes. These are some other good expressions. For example, to be scared out of your wits. If I saw a real ghost, I would be scared out of my wits. Or scared to death. This Saturday is the premiere of my new film and I am already scared to death. Ah! Finally, I'm scared stiff. 
Are you ready for the wedding, Conchi? No, I'm not. I'm scared stiff just at the thought of it. Stiff is an adjective that describes your body completely stiff and hard and not moving. It is very similar to the one that we have already mentioned, petrified. So you're frozen just like this. Stiff. For example, come on Conchi, let's play this video game. It's about zombies, you're gonna love it. Oh no thanks, I'm scared stiff of zombies. What aren't you scared of Conchi? God. Okay, I hope you found this class useful and next time you feel afraid of something you can use one of all these expressions you've just learned with me. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to follow Iwa English and my dear friend Naughty from Fun and Dynamic English. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the Iwa English YouTube channel, it'd be great and you could have a special discount. So if you want to download the Iwa app, read the description down below and get the special promo. But don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot and I really hope you continue to improve your level of English with us every day. Thanks and bye! Bye!